Schools have been asked to test all students using a lateral flow test or rapid COVID-19 test before you return to on-site lessons. This is so that we can protect each other, our families and our whole community. This test is only appropriate for people who do not have symptoms. So if you have a dry cough, a temperature, a loss of taste or smell, you and your whole family should self-isolate and book a normal COVID-19 test. At school, you will have two tests at least three days apart. The first test will be scheduled before you start your lessons. The reason we do two tests is that it can take three to four days for the amount of virus to be high enough to be detected by the test. Please watch this video, which will show you what to expect when you come for your test at school. You should arrive 10 minutes before your allotted time slot and go straight to the sports hall. Once you are seated, you will have the following equipment in front of you. A test cartridge, a swab packet, an extraction tube containing fluid, a mirror and a tissue. Please sit silently and wait for step-by-step -step instructions. You'll sanitise your hands, blow your nose and then sanitise your hands again. You will open the test cartridge wrapper and place the test on the desk. You will then open the swab packet and take care not to touch the fabric end of the swab. Taking the test, you need to avoid your tongue and your teeth. You should swab each tonsil five times in an upwards and downwards motion. You then need to swab each nostril five times, rotating the swab. Then place the swab into the fluid in the extraction tube. You need to gently swirl it for about 10 seconds, aiming to get as much of the mucus off the swab and into the fluid. As you remove the swab, you need to squeeze the extraction tube to try and wring out as much as you can and then place the swab back in the swab packet. You should then close the lid of the extraction tube. There is a small hole in the top of the extraction tube so that it can be used as a dropper. You'll put two drops into the sample well on the test cartridge. This is labelled S. Straight away, you'll see the liquid moving up the cartridge. As soon as you see a line appear at C, this is the control strip, you should raise your hand. The testing assistant will then come and check and dismiss you. If you do not see a line at the control strip, you'll be given another test cartridge to try again. We will have the results within 30 minutes. If you've tested positive, you'll be notified within one hour of your test and asked to go for a normal COVID-19 test to check the result. In addition to the two tests that you are going to receive in January, in the future, if you are identified as a close contact of someone that has now tested positive, you'll be able to have a test every day for seven days rather than self-isolate and miss school. Even if you receive a negative test, it is absolutely crucial that you continue to socially distance, sanitise your hands regularly and wear your mask. Finally, here is a further video clip that will give you a good overview of what your lateral flow test will be like. We look forward to having you back in school as soon as possible, but until then, please stay safe and healthy. Gently cough three times into a tissue, blow your nose and then throw the tissue away. Wash your hands. Select one sealed swab, one empty tube and dropper and one test cartridge. Put six drops of the extraction solution into the tube.
place dropper lid on the tube. Break the seal on the packet and gently remove the swab. Open your mouth wide and avoiding the tongue, run the fabric tip of the swab over both tonsils, five times each, then remove the swab. Use the same swab. Gently insert the fabric end into a nostril until you feel a slight resistance. Rotate five times. Repeat for the other nostril. To extract the sample, remove the dropper lid and place the swab into the tube, fabric tip downwards, and swirl it around for 10 seconds. When removing the swab from the tube, squeeze the flexible sides of the vial to remove any excess liquid. Put used swab back into the packet it came in, replace dropper lid onto the tube. To test the sample, carefully apply two drops of the fluid from the tube onto the test cartridge, sample well marked S, making sure not to drop any bubbles of air that may be in the bottle. Place the tube down but don't discard it in case you need to repeat the test. Set a timer for 30 minutes. Read the result after 30 minutes. The control line of the device C should show a colored line indicating a valid test. If after 30 minutes the control line is blank, the test has failed and you will need to repeat the test. Simply select a new cartridge and add more drops of the fluid. If a control line is colored, check the result line of the device marked T. A line shown, even a very faint line, is indicative of a positive test result. No line here means the test is negative. Bag up all LFT waste into orange bag for disposal. Wipe down the extraction solution if to be used by another household. Wash your hands.